look like mm. a little more energy at practice today? Was that just the joy of winning the celebration there for the half game? Yeah, was it was a big, it was a big comeback win by the red team. So um, you know that that, that the, the good thing about playing those games can bring energy to, to practice. And I, I do think obviously you know when when you when you win, it's it's just easier to have more fun. Uh, you know, I think our guys have done a pretty good job having good attitudes when they've come to the rink, even when we've been losing. But it's hard to have much fun when you've been losing. So um, it's good to feel, you know, I've said that a lot. It's like you walk out of the building, you feel way better about yourself if you win, regardless of what's happened prior to in the season. When you walk in the building and in for practice, you feel way better after you win. So let's keep uh, making sure we remember that. How about the vibe here with the moms, too? That's a little different dynamic, I would think. Yeah, my first year we had a mom's trip, and it was great. And, um, uh, you know, we gave the dads a couple tries, and then they, they just the record just didn't add up so we're going back to the moms uh you know i think it's awesome um you know i know certainly uh they deserve uh just uh, you know every bit as much as the dads to, to come and be a part of their their son's uh journey and 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 see firsthand you know what their son's life is like on the road and i think it's great and and it's a different it's a different kind of element uh, or atmosphere but um, a great one nonetheless uh so i think it, it should be it should be lots of fun how is the atmosphere different um, well, the guys feel a little bit more like they have to help and or look after their moms. Where I think they let the dads kind of just go, and sometimes when they let the dads go, they might go a little too hard. So <laughs> the moms seem to keep it in control way better. So I like having the moms on the trip. To be honest with you, I'd be moms every year. Is your mom on trip? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't include the staff this year. We we thought potentially doing something maybe on a different trip, but we haven't. Uh, done that. The, the problem with the staff is, is then you start bumping people off the plane and, and so we just felt like uh, let's just leave it to the players this year. Jeff, Jeff, do you think the moms are the unsung hero of a hockey family or that the dads get all the credit? They seem to be more, a little more front and center at times. I would say this, I think every family is a little bit different, so I don't want to speak in total generalities. What I know for sure is that, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, depending on the dynamics, certainly sometimes the, the fathers get the credit. I'm not sure they always do or not. I know in my own personal house, uh, my wife deserves every bit of the credit. She does all the, the running around with our kids' hockey, is in the rinks all the time. She wants to buy some kind of RV so she can do work and sleep in the parking lot, I guess. But you know, not sleep, do work, sorry. Um, but but she's the one that, that certainly, in my own parents, they, they both had a huge impact on me uh, as a hockey player and, and as a person, and I'm sure that's true of most of these guys. For hockey parents, sleep in the car works too. Though. Yeah, I mean, you, well, it's, yeah, you're sitting <laughs> yeah. in those rinks in between games at tournaments, and you know, and you're usually there early. So, yeah. The monotony, just the, just break up the monotony of the season too. That, that for sure. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a different trip. You know, it's um, uh, I think it's great. Um, uh, you know, we have. Uh, two of our front half of staff and, and Kim Brody and Lisa Wright that help kind of make sure everything runs smooth and so that makes it easier on us uh, um, in, in terms of the extra uh, the additional responsibilities but but it, so it just all it does for me is bring more life and, and I think it's great. How far in advance do you decide? Uh, Moms or, or yeah. dads or just what trip? Both? You know, we look at the schedule right away. I've sat down with Ken Hall in the past. I sat down with Steve Eiserman this time. I sit down with the captains a little bit and, and talk to them. Um, look at what the dates. We had very few dates that really made sense at all. Um, we've got a lot of weird trips where we're back and forth, and it's, so it's tough. You know, you'd like to include, uh, you know, either, you know, warm weather is nice if you can, I think, especially this time of year. Um, and, then, and then moms and, and, and dads, a little bit, I'll leave it up to the players sometimes. You know, I, I've talked to the players about it, and the dads were just in Dallas and Chicago a couple of years ago, so, you know, I know they, they felt like let's, let's get the moms back on the trip.